Hello everyone, welcome back and happy Friday to you all. Um, it's been a couple of days, so I have not really yet been busy or up to much baking wise, but um, today being Friday during Lent and a meatless day, I decided that today I'm going to make a uh, potato tacos for dinner. And I figured the best thing to go along with that is a um, vegan pumpkin bread. So um, that's what we're going to make together today. And um, I'd like to welcome any new viewers. And just to say that if this is your first time checking it out, um, we do a lot of baking, vegan, not so vegan, healthy, not so healthy. So uh, if this is your first time, I encourage you to check out some of the previous videos and see what we're all about. And um, that's it. So we're going to get started right now. We're going to make some vegan pumpkin bread. So what I did was I preheated the oven to 350. Um, right now I'm starting off with just two cups of regular all-purpose flour. And to that we are going to add, and I always use this brand, um, Anthony's, Anthony's Organic. It's gluten-free, vegan, I mean all natural. This stuff is, um, I use Anthony's products for all my flours, uh, tapioca flour, coconut flour, almond flour. I use it for cinnamon, I use it for um, coconut sugar. Um, turmeric, any kind of spices that I use on a regular basis or um, daily. So we are going to add about um, three quarters of a cup. Let's turn the screens here. So we're going to add about three quarters of a cup of this coconut sugar to the two cups of flour. Okay, then the next thing we're going to add in will be a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, um, I'm going to use two teaspoons of this pumpkin spice, uh, pumpkin spice, pumpkin, pumpkin pie spice mix. So, um, if you don't have any of this, you can Google substitute. There's all different recipes you can use with making your own with cinnamon, clove, nutmeg. Um, but, uh, just to make life a lot easier for myself, I'm going to actually just finish this out, but I use, um, the pumpkin pumpkin pie spice mix. So we put in about two heaping teaspoons of that. Um, what else do we have? So we're going to give this a little whisk and that's basically it for the dry uh, ingredients. Now, um, let me grab another bowl. Okay, now we're gonna sort through some of our wet ingredients. So for this, we are going to start <clears throat> off with um, 15 ounces of pumpkin pie mix. So let me just grab a spatula. And we're gonna put in this pure pumpkin, um, I'm sorry, not pumpkin pie mix, uh, the pumpkin puree. We're going to put in one 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree. Okay. If you guys have been making any of the recipes we've watched together or done together, uh, please comment, let me know what, how they came out and what you thought. Um, now I'm curious to see. So we have uh, one can of the 15 ounce pumpkin pie mix. 
this a little closer for you to see. To that, we are going to add, um, we'll put in the vanilla extract. So we are going to put in about, about two teaspoons of vanilla extract. There's one, two. So the next thing we are going to add, we will add about a third of a cup of, you could either use, if you're cutting down on some of your intake of oils, you could use a third cup of hot water. Um, I'm using coconut oil, so we are going to put in a third of a cup of coconut oil. We are going to put in a third of a cup of your choice of any kind of um, dairy-free milk. Usually I use almond milk, but this stuff was um, on sale and I had not yet tried it. It's Quaker Oat Beverage. It's a dairy-free milk. Um, so we're going to give that a try with that. Okay, and we're going to give this a little mix. Now what you can also do while you're giving this a little mix is um, add a, a pinch of kosher salt. Um, I'll just add it right on in and continue to give this a nice thorough mix through. Get all of our wet ingredients combined. And now we are going to combine our dry ingredients with the wet ingredients, the pumpkin puree, pumpkin um, mix. Okay, that's all incorporated now. Just fix this on through. And we are going to put this into a loaf pan for baking. I have already greased with um, vegan butter, but you could use any kind of, um, if you're making, if you're sticking to vegan, then you just don't, don't use butter, but you could use any kind of non-stick agent and to a loaf pan. Okay, until this all comes together. It's starting to come together nicely. Just incorporate all that dry mix so you don't until you don't see any more flour. Make sure you Scrape the walls and the bottom of the pan. And this is coming together nice. Okay, so that's all together. So now what we're going to do is just transfer it into a pre greased loaf pan. Smells good already. Pumpkin is one of those flavors that people generally only to use in the fall, but I like a good pumpkin uh, bread. Okay. <coughs> Got that all scraped out. Now let's just smooth it out in here. We get a nice even bake. And a 
if you want to make this even a little healthier or if you're watching your sugar, um, you can substitute um, like pure maple syrup instead, but I like the coconut sugar. So we have this nice and spread out. Okay, so this is spread out nice and evenly now. So we are going to now bake this at 350 for about 55 minutes. So um, once I get this in the oven, I will get a little bit of cleanup done around here and then I will show you what this looks like when it's all completed. Hopefully you're making it along with us and um, if you are, please let me know what you think. Please comment below any questions you may have, uh, any tips you want to share. If there is something you've tried or and you make a vegan pumpkin bread and you make it different, I'd love to hear about it and what you do differently. Um, you can add, of course, nuts to it if you'd like. Um, you can add chocolate chips as long as they're either vegan or dark chocolate, which is 70% cocoa or higher. You can add whatever you'd like. Um, you can sprinkle pumpkin seeds on top, um, but I'm just going to keep it a basic bread. And um, we'll put this in the oven. We'll be back with a cleaner kitchen in a little while and uh, let you see what it looks like when it's done. And we'll go from there. So um, if you're clean, uh, cooking alongside, this, you could use this as a time to clean up as well. So we're gonna get this in the oven and we'll be back in a little while. Okay, so the hour is up. Um, I have literally just taken the pumpkin uh, bread out of the oven. So it's actually still a little too hot to touch at the moment. Let me just use this um, hot holder to show you. And here's another one. Look at that. It smells fantastic and it looks absolutely fantastic. It has a really nice pumpkin smell to it. So that is our vegan pumpkin bread. Um, it just was in the oven for, it ended up taking about 50, 55 minutes. Um, so um, it's all set. I'm just going to let it cool. I'm going to make my um, vegan potato um, tacos for dinner and then have a little bit of um, some tea and a piece of pumpkin bread afterwards. So nice start to the weekend. Um, if you guys have any comments about the bread or any suggestions, any tips, any ideas, um, if there's anything specific you'd like to see, um, just please feel free to comment and ask away and I think probably within the next uh, maybe week or so I am going to make um, a vegan Easter bread so I know Easter is coming up soon and um, a lot of people are going to be doing a lot of baking and cooking for the day so I think I'm going to make a vegan Easter bread uh, I've made that the past few years and it's come out very good um, maybe we'll do some non-vegan stuff, some desserts. Um, if you go away and you need to bring a dessert, maybe we'll make some non-vegan desserts. Um, thinking maybe, uh, cheesecakes are always good. Um, so if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see or what, we, what you'd like to bake next, um, if there's anything you want to experiment on or you haven't tried before, but you think you may want to give it a try, just Please let me know and we'll do it together. And um, yeah, it'll be something you could bring with you to wherever you're traveling to for your Easter holiday. And um, until then, I'll think of something we could do next time and uh, enjoy the start to your weekend. Happy Friday to you all. Uh, if this is your first time joining us, then please, I encourage you to subscribe and see what we have coming up next. Check out some of our previous videos, um, like them if you like them, and um, comment and ask any questions. Until next time, um, it's a pleasure baking with you all, and I'll see you all soon. Bye now.